Efficiency is important for developers. In today's video, I will show you Android Studio plugins that can help you to improve your productivity and be more efficient. In case you don't know how to install plugins in Android Studio, here's the way to do it. First, click Configure and from there, select Plugins and from the screen that will come, you can type the name of the plugin and install it. Keep in mind that some of the plugins might require you to restart the Android Studio. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. There's a saying that naming is one of the two hardest things in computer science. Naming colors is one of the tedious things to do as well, especially if you are a colorblind like me. Of course, you may say that your designer will provide the names of colors, but that's not always the case. So that's why I would suggest you to use Name That Color plugin. The plugin itself is really simple to use. You just need to paste the hex code of the color to colors XML file, and then from there you can select the Name That Color action, and it will give you automatically color names and also it provides the material color naming option as well. As this plugin will help you to have more consistent color names, if you are working within a team, I would recommend you to install this plugin to all Android developers Android Studio. When you have JSON schema, you have few ways to create a Kotlin class representing that data. JSON to Kotlin class plugin will help you to create Kotlin class for any JSON data you paste. Usage is pretty simple. Once you have created the file, click option K and enter the JSON data to the prompt that you will be seeing. And also you will be required to add some name for that class and that plugin also gives you more options if you click advanced button. After you click OK, your Kotlin class will be generated. Now that we have this class that we created from the JSON schema, what if we wanna initiate it with some empty values? Kotlin field class is another useful plugin that generates code for you. So basically once you create the empty instance of the class and click option enter button and from there you can select field class option. This will fill the class instance with empty values. You might be wondering when you would wanna use this kind of plugin. For me, I use it often with uh, when I'm writing unit or integration tests as well as if I want to test the application code that I, I wrote. Now we have an instance of the class with empty values. What if we want to add more random data to that class? This is where randomness plugin comes handy. This is a plugin which can be used to generate random data in a type that you want. For example, in our case, let's add some random integer for the user ID and also uh, add some random string. Usage of this plugin is also really simple. All you need to do is click option R and then you will be given option to random data types that you can generate. Simple things can add more value to our productivity and efficiency. Smart Search is a plugin that will allow you to search selected text uh, in either search engines or Stack Overflow, GitHub, and also it allows you to customize the search engines so that you don't need to always use Google or uh, you can have different choices. Usage of Smart Search is really simple. All you need to do is select the text and right click on it. From there, you can select Smart Search option and from the list given, you can choose the appropriate search engine for your need. Knowing keyboard shortcuts can save you tons of time when you are developing Android apps. But how do you learn those keyboard shortcuts? Well, this is where Keyboard Promoter X plugin comes in. Basically, all you need to do is install the plugin and once you start doing some actions manually, then it will suggest you keyboard shortcut for that action with, with a little prompt on the right bottom side of the Android Studio. So basically to use this plugin you don't need to do anything, you just need to pay attention to the keyboard shortcuts and learn the ones that you think you need the most. 
Now we know how to generate code with Android Studio plugins, learn more keyboard shortcuts, or search some selected text without leaving Android Studio. What else do we need? Well, if you want to share your code in a beautiful way, I would suggest you to use Carbon Now SH plugin, which is basically a wrapper for the website that's called carbon.now.sh. With this plugin, you can select the code you want and then right click on it and click the Carbon Now SH action, which will take you to the website and from there you can customize the options and then you are given a bunch of choices to either download the image directly to your computer or share it to Twitter. This plugin will basically allow you to generate beautiful code snippets and share it with anyone you want. That's all for this video. As usual I will put links down in the description and also feel free to share your favorite plugins for Android Studio.